Hi there, great tens, Mr. H.A. Can you believe we've reached the end of the year? And we are now preparing for our finals. Finals. Wow, the year's really flown by. Oh my. And so I just want to say this from the onset. Please remember this video is by no means a blueprint of exactly what you are going to get in your upcoming exam. Every school is different. I'm giving you what I've seen in various papers, things that I've set myself, but I'm working on the skills that you must be able to exhibit at the end, now where we are, at the end of this year. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to help you prepare for the prac, typical things that come up, what you need to know in terms of your skills, and maybe there'll be some surprise tips as well, if you take note. Yes, please. You're going to be assessed on everything you've done for the year unfortunate. It's just that some things are going to take a higher priority than others. Your paper should be in the region of around two hours and vary from about 100 to 120 marks. Similar to the grade 11s, you'll also get different sections in your paper. You might get one at the beginning that's got like computer management or file and folder management, which really deals with how to work within the PC, the folders, the files, things like that. Then we've got Word, we've got Excel, We've got PowerPoint and for the very first time in grade 10, we've now got HTML that you'll be tested on or examined as well. So with that in mind, let's look at the breakdown for each and every section. So file and folder management is our very first section. And the skills that we have here, we really are not really gonna expand much on it in grade 11 and 12 because this is where you build the foundation. So this is why grade 10 is one of the most important years. So in file and folder management, we're looking at creating files, creating folders, zipping folders, unzipping folders, hiding folders, deleting folders, creating a folder, taking images, moving it into that folder. So cut, copy, paste, checking the size of a file, the extension of a file, what type of file it is, and then within the window itself, organizing the view, like what can I see? Can I see extensions? Can't I see it? Cut, copy, move, rename. Those are typical things that come up every single year. Now we move on to Word. Now grade 10, Word is probably where the bulk of your marks are going to be coming from. So let's look at what we need to know in Word. Now there's obviously the basics, you know, formatting, bold, underline, changing the font size, the font style, the margins, the page orientation, and the paper size. Those are generally the basics. Then we have things like adding the page numbers making sure there's a different page number on the first page or not even displaying a page number on the first page. Things like inserting the cover page and modifying it. Inserting text with a picture next to it. That's typical, it's a definite tip. Paragraph spacing. Line spacing inside that paragraph and formatting the paragraph itself in terms of maybe putting a border around it, doing some shading, things like that. Find and replace styles table of contents, hyperlinks, bookmarks, and adding a table into Word. Now, the minute we add a table in, there are things that go with that. For example, um, shading cells, deleting a cell, adding a formula. He's giving you another tip. Okay, sorry, as I said, adding a formula to your table, adjusting the borders. These are all typical things that come up with your tables. Also, columns, and drop caps. Now, drop caps is something that, <laughs> that comes up quite often. Just saying. Um, columns as well. I spoke about styles, but also modifying the styles and being able to apply those modified styles. Your breaks, like your page breaks, section breaks, and converting text to a table. Then with find and replace, please bear in mind, it's not just finding words and replacing them. You could be replacing a space with a dash. You could be replacing one dash with a full stop. Anything like that. So just play around with find and replace. And then quickly back to our tables, sorting the contents of a table. So as you can see with Word, it's mainly formatting. And I know there was one and here's a big tip. Go and try to insert an image and then listen carefully, crop it to a shape. Let's move on to Excel. Now for Excel, we also need to know the basics. What are the basics? Entering data into a cell, renaming a tab at the bottom, changing the color of it, naming a cell, you know, formatting a cell, 
bold, italic, underline, changing the size, the row height, the column width, applying borders and bold headings. And when it comes to headings, they can ask you to align the text and to change the orientation of that text as well. And then some of your basic formulas like min, max, sum and average to name a few. But obviously in grade 10, we've done more. So your count, count A, count blank, count if, as well as, and I know it's Excel, but adding a header and a footer to your spreadsheet. Now in Excel, we'll do a lot of sorting of the data, maybe even using rand and rand between. Don't forget the Excel errors that can come up. And of course, since we are in Excel, you're going to be asked to create a chart. Now I can't tell you which chart, and obviously from school to school, it is going to differ, but you'll be asked to insert a chart and to modify that. So you might need to change the background. You might need to, especially with a column chart, change the colors of the individual columns, um, change the axes, change the chart title, and maybe move that chart from one worksheet to another. Our next one is PowerPoint, and this is usually fairly simple because with PowerPoint, they are not expecting you to create a PowerPoint presentation from scratch. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What they do expect you to be able to do is to modify that presentation. For example, moving slides, changing the order, deleting slides, adding slides, um, adding pictures to the slides, adding action buttons to take you to the first slide or take you to the last slide, applying animations, transitions, and other general formatting on your slides. And that then brings us to the last one, which is HTML. Now, some of your schools might assess you on HTML, some might not, but it's okay either way because next year it's gonna hit you hard. So at this point with HTML, you've learned how to create the basic structure of an HTML website. You were able to change the background. You were able to add a title to the tab on top. You were able to add text, sort it out into a paragraph, use the BR tag to move your text down, as in like using the, the enter button. You've been able, I think some of you might already be able to insert images into that site as well. And you've been able to format the text through the font tag in that website as well. I mean, after all, this was just one module. So like I say, you might or might not get assessed on this. Now that we're wrapping up this video, I want us quickly to look at a few common words that you are going to come across in the paper. And I don't want you to get confused when you see this. We're going to look at the commands, what it means, and then how to answer. So the first one is insert. So this is just asking you to add something required. Okay, so you're going to, and with this, you must perform the action exactly as required. Then if you've got to form it, when they use the word format, it means you're going to change the visual appearance of it. And this is usually in the form of adjusting the font, the color, the alignment, the spacing. Then when they talk about applying, using the word apply, here they want you to implement a particular feature. And again, you've just got to follow the instructions. And then lastly, we're looking at the difference between save and save as. So when I go file save, ideally I'm saving the changes to an existing document, presentation, spreadsheet, whatever it is. The minute I go file save as, it gives me the option to save it as a different type and under a different name and even in a different location. With file save, I don't have that. So with that grade tens, all I can say to you is when it comes to your final prac paper, remember, you can start with any question you want to. Start with the easiest one. Start with the ones that you are most comfortable with. Tick it off on the question paper, see that you've done that, then you proceed to the more difficult items, the one that you struggle a bit with. But what that's gonna do is, it's gonna give you more time. And we all know, you want to make the most of the time you have. We don't want you running out of time. And then as we go along, we save, save, and save some more. So great tens, all the best for your cat prac. Hope this helps. Everything is here in the description as well. A few old papers everything that is here to assist you along the way. And once you write your paper, let me know in the comments how it went, how the paper was. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it everything you expected it to be? Or was it a brilliant experience? Because you've been prepared right here with Mr. Hambury.
all the best and don't forget to like subscribe and share this with everyone